Travel as we knew it changed in 1903 when Orville and Wilbur Wright took flight. The history of what Art Smith and Paul Bear did it just isn't duplicated anywhere else. But aviation beyond that continued to develop greatly right here in 21 country. We have a group of people, our community, that doesn't want to lose this knowledge, this excitement, the history of what these guys did. This is important stuff that helped us get through the world wars. Both Bear, a decorated war pilot, and Smith, an acrobat of the skies, died doing what they love. Greg Bosk is working to preserve that history and more at the Fort Wayne International Airport. The museum was started in 1984 by uh, local um, air aficionados. They collected memorabilia, uh, historical facts, and we built a museum up on the second floor and for oh, at least 10, 15 years, it was well received. Interest declined after 9-11 when airport security increased and the museum wasn't as accessible to the public. I would see the Cub Scouts or the Scouts come up. Instead of being there for two or three hours like the senior citizens would, they're there 10 minutes and they're not interested. Nothing moved, nothing spoke. When I talk to school teachers, when I look at what my grandson with his iPad in kindergarten is learning and things like that, that's where it's at. Now, Bosk is leading the museum into the digital age. We're now using current historical information and current pictures, but we've also going to incorporate something called augmented reality. You'll be able to actually get into Art Smith's airplane, and you'll be able to pilot it around window area on a mail run. Uh, you'll be able to sit beside Margaret Riggenberger, a famous lady aviator from Fort Wayne area, and listen to her talk and walk through with her about uh, her flights. And then we thought the third thing we would do would have the control tower here at Bear Field. Before it was the International Air Force, before it was an aircraft uh, base, it was an Army base. And we're going to try to portray that. Soon, a small portion of the airport will be dedicated to his vision because the technology that we're writing will last for years. It will allow us to update immediately over the internet instead of taking things apart. New knowledge comes across to us all the time. You know, there's so many little facts that people might go, well, how'd they do that? Well, we have that knowledge, we're building it every day, but we have to build it digitally so it'll be there for generations to come. But it comes with a price tag of 150 grand, money the museum needs to earn by donation. I need someone to take the big first step. Someone needs to be a pioneer like, you know, like Bear and Smith here so we can get this.